Hey guys, so went to the doctor today. For those of you who know, I um, had a doctor's appointment and have been um, struggling with my legs and fatigue and all that good stuff. So went to the doctor's today and he believes I have RLS, restless leg syndrome. So he's put me on a, I think it's a, he, it's a medication that also, uh, a low dose medication that also treats Parkinson's um, to try. I think it starts with that R. I've got to um, I've got to go pick it up here shortly, so I'll show it to you. Um, so I've got to try that out, and we're gonna start there with my fatigue problem because we're thinking that's probably what it is since I'm having to constantly stretch my legs and it's waking me up. And sometimes I it's even so bad I have to get up and walk around in the middle of the night. That's how bad it is. So, anyways, we did some shopping after. We went out to lunch after we went to the doctor and did some shopping. So, I thought I'd show you what I got since a lot of people seem to uh, like seeing, seeing what I bought um, in my last video. So, I thought I'd show you. So, let me bring you out here. We went to Sam's Club, Walmart. Where else did we go? PetSmart. <laughs> so, what we got at PetSmart, we got Magnum, a new um, crate house, and I got to put it together. I had a coupon for a free bag of dog food, and of course not in the blue buffalo, so I got this, another bag of this Wellness Core grain-free uh, reduced fat, so I got that, so I got two bags of that now. Um, what else we get at PetSmart? We got this uh, reflective leash. Um, because we've been walking Magnum and Miggy first, and then we've been walking Marley, Max, and Mozzie all at the same time. So it's been interesting walking three dogs. So I had to get another leash. I didn't like the other one uh, we had. So we got this at PetSmart. It's called Flexi. And at Walmart, we got, I already took the tag off, we got Magnum a bigger um, harness because his is getting too small. And is that all I got at Walmart? Oh, and I got some, um, don't laugh at the shelf full of salads, guys. Look at, look at all the salads. <laughs> my daughter likes to eat them for lunch um, at work. My son likes to eat them, and my husband likes to eat them. I'm not a salad eater. So I stocked up on some salads. And at Sam's Club we got, I got me a um, shop vac just uh, to keep in the basement in my grooming room. Because I kept having to steal the one out of the garage. So my husband got me that one for just for me. And I got to let the dog out. <laughs> they tear off like they think something's out there all the time. And I got these gloves because I don't know if you guys noticed in my videos I wear gloves a lot. Because I don't like... Especially when I'm preparing food, like raw meats, and I'm just weird with my hands. I guess I'm OCD about that. So I buy these exam gloves, powder free. And then my husband can't stand when I run out of A1 sauce. So we got four things of A1, some uh, fabric softener. My husband got a new Michigan State t shirt. I got some Zert, generic Zyrtec. Cause I don't think Claritin's working anymore. Some of this for heartburn, trash bags, and some Glade uh, plugins. I love this scent. Love it. And I got a new Michigan State shirt. It must be in the bedroom. I think I left it in there when I tried it on. Okay, I think my bedroom's a rock. Yes, I did not make my bed yet. I had an early doctor's appointment. Hold on, I got a. I gotta close a folder because it's got some personal information there. Yes, so here's my, hold on. My daughter threw a purse in here for me, this big purse. Wanted to know if I want it, and I thought it might be nice just for, it's huge. I, I don't use purses this big, but I thought it'd be good for like when we go to Mackinac, pack some stuff in it maybe. <laughs> okay, let me spread this out. This is my new game day shirt. I love it, it was only 20 bucks at Sam's. Spread it out here. Here we go. It's got a little bit of shiny silver there. 
kind of like a jersey. And then on the back, there you go. That's my new game day shirt. I'll insert a picture here, show you how it looks on me. I love it. Okay, so that's what my new shirt. What's in this bag? Oh, that's something I got to return. Okay, <laughs> can you remember? I was out of the house so fast. I'm so nervous, you guys, when I go to the doctor that ooh, um, I don't do anything. My house is a wreck. I just, I hate going to the doctor. I hate it. But if this is going to help me sleep, uh, I'll take it. Let me tell you. So that's what we bought. And I'm going to put this together right now. And I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so let's put this thing together. And the brand is just called Great Choice. It's um, 20 inches tall, 24 inches long. And it was $65. Probably could have got it on Amazon cheaper. But guess what, guys? you got to support your local stores, too, because... Amazon's going to put everybody out of business soon. <laughs> and I know I put Amazon links and I make a little bit of money if you guys buy um, from those links. If you buy from Amazon, I've made in the past probably six months $60. So it ain't that much money. So um, like I'm saying, just support your local stores too or you won't have any to shop at. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, there's some things, some cable ties back here too. So I'm hoping this ain't that hard to put together. All my other ones have always been put together um, when I bought them. I'm hoping it's not too big either. Let's see. Ooh. Oh Lord, there's a cable tie over here. Yep. Oh, there's some screws, so I guess this might take long. I may have to fast forward it. Let's see here. I was going to get a wire crate, but I didn't want to have to mess with putting duct tape and stuff on it. So I just opted for a bigger one of these. Yeah, so let me see if that's shown in the camera. I really wish I had a camera that showed I could see what I'm doing. Oh, well, maybe this Christmas, right, guys? Maybe I can get another good Christmas present this year. So and then here's this. Okay, let me get his one he's using now so I can show you the size difference. Why I got a bigger one is because he's getting taller. Um, if you guys notice, he's got some long legs. So when he was in his one now... He was standing up and shaking and hitting his head <laughs> on it because he also has a little bed in here. Um, so that adds some cushion. So there you go. You can see um, how much bigger that one is than that one. So I have to, looks like, get a screwdriver. Where did I put the screws? What did I do with them, Marley? Huh? What did I do with them? What did I do? Okay, guys, I'm losing my mind today. I don't know what I did with the screws. So I've got to find those and screw it together. And then I'll show you him. I'm hoping his little bed that's in that one will fit in here okay. Um, where did I just sit those? I didn't leave the room. <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. I'm losing my mind. Oh, they're over here on the other dog crate. So you see it's got a bag full of screws in here and something else must be clipped or something so I'm gonna put it together and then I'll show you Magnum in it okay so that's together I did not need a screwdriver there was just these like twisty things you put the screw under here and then twist these these caps on so it was really easy to put together it took me maybe 15 20 minutes so I'm going to see if his, um, oh yeah, I was going to say I didn't check to make sure the door was latching right. I'm going to see if his bed, I have one of these, um, 
just kind of create beds. I'll probably get him a bath rug for on the bottom like I do the boys. I put bath rugs now on the bottom and then I put a blanket in there with them because they are more durable than these things um, to keep washing. So it's like a little piece of carpet in there. Oh yeah, if it's perfect. If it's perfect, Magnum, here's a piece of bone in here. I should have shook this out a little. And then I just give them all, um, usually they'll have a bath mat and then a blanket um, in there to scrunch up or do move it around however they want. And that's the thing too with the bath mats on the bottom of the crate, they can, they scratch them and everything and they don't move around. So there's always something covering the bottom of their crates. I'll show you in a minute because I don't know if I showed you guys that um, I did that. You want to get in your house? He's like, no. I want to go back out and play. Come here. Come here. And look, guys. Magnum got a, I don't know if you can see, he got a big boy collar like the other boys. He's getting big enough to wear a bigger size. There you go. Look at that. You don't hit your head no more. You don't hit your head no more. Yeah. He can stand up now without having to scrunch down. Yeah. Just don't grow any taller. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can even see him in there. Let me get my camera. Oh, he's black, so you can't see him. There, he can stand up and has plenty of uh, headroom now. Yes. Yes. Big boy house. He's got a big boy house now, guys. There you go. Okay, so here it is sitting on the um, other crate. So it's about the same size maybe just a tad longer because how this sticks out right here where the door is um about the same size as the crates i use for them right now so there you go oh and here's the um this is what i mean by i have a bath rug bath mat um at the bottom of their crate so when they're digging and fluffing up their um blanket before sometimes there would be plastic showing so now that i have these bath mats on the bottom it's always covered and they last a lot longer than these so I'll probably get him a bath mat too for the bottom and then I throw a blankie in there that they can move around and cuddle up to so now I have an extra crate but I'm not gonna give them away I'm not gonna I probably when my dogs are all gone I'll donate all this stuff if it's still in good condition um, to, uh, the Humane Society or the Animal Shelter or something like that. All my dog stuff. Because Magnum will probably be our last dog. Stop licking your feet, Marley. Don't lick your feet, Marley. No, no. He's the one that, that he's the one that mostly ends up with, uh, the yeast infections on the feet. That's why I have to use that one spray. Uh, I'll link it below. The spray I use on his feet when he gets baths. Because even with his Apoquil, he still wants to lick his feet. I don't know if it's out of boredom or what it is. So anyway, so this will go down to my grooming room um, and uh, be saved in case we need it. You never know, in case of emergency, and we might need one put in the car or something. So I'm going to take these guys outside and let them play. Miggy, guess what we got in the mail? Look what we got sent to try out. I wonder if it's because they saw you playing with basketballs. Look what we got sent. <laughs> A company wanted us to review this. The Quiet Mini Basketball Hoop. I was like, sure, I'll try it out and see how it works. I thought this might be fun. I thought maybe I'd hang it on the back of my front door, try to shoot some hoops, and then maybe Miggy will bring me the ball <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, will you bring me the ball back if I shoot some hoops? Huh? Yay! You think you think you will? Okay, let's try it out. Let me see the ball. Let me see. Let me see so I can show everyone. Okay, so it came with um two of these little cloth balls and then this like a regular rubber basketball. Marley's got this one over here. Uh, chewing on it. So it came with three balls. Um, it was easy to put together. Just slide the hoop part into a little uh, piece that's raised out. Slide that in and put the netting on. And it is quiet. So 
So my son used to have one of these when he was younger, and it would hit and just bang on the door and make marks. This one doesn't at all. It's very quiet. So I'm going to throw these and try to make a basket, and then see if Mickey will bring it back to me. I'm going to try with the um, softballs first. Look, Mickey. No, get out the chair. Come here. Okay, here. Go get it. Oh, that was horrible. I hit the ceiling. Woo! Oh, I missed. See, and then you can have the dogs bring them back to you. Let go. Okay. Woo! Oh, I missed. <laughs> Here's the other one. Now, well, Magnum, don't bring them back. Oh, I missed again. Let's try the rubber ball. Let's try this ball. I missed again. My daughter, you guys, played basketball uh, junior high through high school. She played travel basketball. So she could probably be making some baskets. I'm not a good basketball shooter. <laughs> You're supposed to bring the ball back. No, supposed to make it back to me. Oh, I missed. I missed. I missed. <laughs> Let go, Magnum. Let go. Let go. Oh, I missed again. This is kind of fun, guys. I thought it was kind of a weird thing to send to me to review, but... It is if you have a young son or something and it's very quiet or a husband who has an office and wants to shoot some hoop. You just need a doggy to bring you back the ball, which mine are not doing. You guys are supposed to bring these back to me. Let's see. Let's see if I can make one. Oh! <laughs> okay, Mickey, get the ball. Why aren't you bringing the... He wants that rubber ball and he can't, and he can't get a hold of it. I know. You're supposed to bring me this ball back. So I can keep trying to make a basket. Silly. Oh. <laughs> it's like, why are you throwing it at the door up there? <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to uh, end the video here. And play, try to shoot some hoop and maybe make a basket. See you guys later. Bye.